Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to TGAT Revit. I'm Thomas Garvin. We're going to take a quick look today at introducing filled regions, okay, which would have been hatch regions, let's say, in AutoCAD. Straightforward stuff, Revit fundamentals. So we'll just get straight into it, okay? Let's go. Okay, what we're looking at here is some examples from a student's work last year, okay? So these are various different uh, filled regions representing materials in that one's supposed to be in elevation, I think, and most, most of them are in cut. So you could say plaster material, polystyrene, rigid insulation, concrete, etc. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to replicate one or, one or two of these. And let me just show you what we're using for reference. I set up a Google Sheet for the students uh, for different material representations, okay? These aren't any rule or anything, but if you want this, uh, just send me a message and I'll flick it on to you as well, okay? All right. Let's create a filled region. Okay, go to the Annotate tab, then down to the Region tool. You'll notice there's a drop-down menu below it. If you select that, you'll see there's two options. One is for Filled Region, which we're going to do now, and the other is for Masking Region, which is essentially the same thing except it holds no information, and it's just a white. Okay, so you use it to mask something or to, to cover something. We'll just put that aside for a moment, and we'll do a Filled Region. So, select Filled Region. If you take a look over here on the properties panel, you'll see that the filled region selected solid gray is just maybe the last filled region that was created. Now to create a new filled region, we need to select one that's already existing, let's say this one, and edit type, same processes for most things in Revit, okay? And duplicate, and give it a new name. Let's call this one, we'll do the plaster, okay? So gypsum plaster, and okay. Okay, we've got two layers available in our fill region. Okay, we've got a foreground pattern and a background pattern. In my background fill pattern, I've nothing here at the moment. I'm gonna select it and click into my little gray box and select solid fill. I want a pale pastel pink for my background color. So I'm gonna select the color and 255 tab 244 tab 244. That's a nice pale pink. That's from that Google sheet I showed you. Those numbers are on that. Again, if you want it, just let me know. Okay. Uh, the sand dense, I'm going to put in the foreground. Uh, I want the color to be a pale gray, palish. So that 192 gray there is fine. Okay. I'll select the pattern, my little gray box here, and I could type in S for sand and sand dense. Okay. There it is. Now the masking uh, checkbox is, is what it sounds like. Okay. So if it's, if it's selected and you draw this filled region over something, a piece of geometry, you won't see through the, 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 the fill region, okay? It'll mask over it. If it's unchecked, you'll be able to see through it, but you'll still have the color, okay? I'm just going to leave it checked and okay. Now, let's draw a shape. So if we go to the rectangle and just draw a small rectangle and the green arrow for okay, so that's to execute the command and exit, okay? So green arrow, done. There it is. I'll zoom in a wee bit so you can see it. There's our masking region, or not masking region, filled region for uh, for gypsum plaster, okay? Let's do one more, okay? Uh, we'll do concrete. So I'm going to select this guy, edit type, duplicate, and I probably have concrete in there already, so I'll call it concrete region. Okay. Now, the, for the background color, uh, I think it's a pale, I'm just checking my sheet here, it's a pale gray 233. Three. So uh select the color 233 tab 233 tab 233 okay pale gray uh, that's still solid fill now for the foreground i'm going to select the pattern and go to concrete there it is and okay and select the color and we'll use this guy here 192 no i'll type in 192 sorry that's 128 192 tab 192 tab 192 okay and okay there concrete fantastic well i hope you found that useful as usual uh look maybe even entertaining intriguing fascinating who knows if it was of use let me know give us a thumbs up and, and a comment uh, i appreciate that if there's any other revit basics you'd like to see me include in future short videos let me know put a comment in the box below and if you haven't already you know what to do. That one? That one. There it is. Subscribe. See you in the next one, guys.